senior professionals from the NHS, from leading health and social care organisations and from industry were at Lancaster University for the launch of a major initiative by the Faculty of Health and Medicine. Designed to support and encourage public and private collaboration in research through knowledge exchange and professional development, the one-day conference held in Lancaster's Lyca building was a landmark event for the university. This is an important day for us in terms of the development of health medicine and social care within the university. It's an initiative that we've put a lot of effort into over several years and I think it, it reflects a point in which we're prepared to say to the world, we're here, we've got a lot going on, um, are you interested in what we're doing and please come and talk to us about what you would like us to do so that we can match the research and teaching agendas in order to really go further than any of us could do as individual components of this collaboration. Nowhere else in the country has shown such a rapid trajectory in increased activity in research. So clearly the ability of the NHS to participate with the university in this venture is developing alongside the university's initiatives. The Faculty of Health and Medicine was established a, a few years ago to bring together the university's academic strengths in health medicine and social care, provide a focus for research and teaching in that field. The next step is to connect all of that academic expertise up with other sectors who are also interested in the same endeavours in the same field. And today's conference marks a landmark in the sense that we have brought together those sectors to discuss the faculty's initiative in knowledge exchange. So how do we set up a structure that can link the university, the, the excellence within the university, to the NHS to drive locally-led clinical research? And the way that we've gone about that is to form the Lancashire and Cumbria Clinical Research Hub. The primary purpose is to up the level of high quality, locally led, collaborative research. Well, we've been very fortunate in being able to attract some speakers who are eminent within their fields and collectively they cover all of the main areas that we're interested in developing these partnerships with. I couldn't stress this message more. For those businesses to be competitive in today's global marketplace with all the technological changes going on, and the competition that we have around in other countries. They have to collaborate. We have to generate a collaborative environment where the three partners, industry, the NHS and academia, work really closely together. It's important in any collaboration that it's clear what the rules of the game are. Is this essentially a fee-for-service relationship? Is it a piece of contract research where, for instance, all the IP is very clearly with the company? Or is it a collaboration in which both parties are bringing intellectual input to, to the research? I'm first going to tell you a little bit about Age UK in case you don't Well, know. we already engage with Lancaster University a little bit, but we really need a lot more research collaborations because we try to underpin everything we do with research. So our services and our service development, our influencing of politicians and government, our campaigning to the public, and we don't have access to research that's behind the paywall of academic journals. So we need help in getting access to research and findings, and also we can help researchers disseminate these to the wider public and get them used on the ground. So I can tell you that there's a real appetite from the 21,000 organizations that offer adult social care here in England for working in partnership with colleagues in health. It's about being engaged with the creative talents at the university because what, we, what I really want to gain with the university is their creativity, their originality and in essence their, their different ways of thinking. You know, you, you are not constrained at this university. You have um, collaborative activities across the university itself and it's that that I really want to be able to tap into. Quite a different life experience or job experience. Yes. Statistics can operate at I either I think today's end. been great fun for one thing and already I've overheard conversations from, from people saying oh we must follow up, we must uh, pursue that, that idea. Uh, so what it does is it helps open people's eyes to the resources and facilities that are available and it helps create key linkages because obviously collaborations 
much easier once one can pick up the phone having made that initial contact and that's what I think we're going to see arise from today is people building on the energy that we've had from today's event to take forward specific collaboration opportunities. We have developed what we call a negotiated work-based learning framework at postgraduate level. Reassuringly, the kind of things that are coming up are some of the things that feel familiar, you know, in terms of what are the issues to do with partnership and so on. And there seem to be common themes coming out in terms of what the issues are, but also quite, you know, a lot of enthusiasm and commitment and people really wanting to work with different agencies and move things on. So that it feels really positive. It feels good. Some of the things that have been really helpful for me are to have conversations with colleagues I wouldn't perhaps meet under any other circumstance. And already I walk away today with some partnerships, potential partnerships for the future in place. I think it's an excellent opportunity, not only for me to find out the latest developments across the collaborative partnerships in health, medical and social care research, but it is also an opportunity to meet with key individuals who may be able to work in collaboration with myself. It opens up a lot more options for the types of research that we can deliver and offer to our patients. Um, we're all about um, offering the choice of uh, being able to participate in clinical trials, but it also opens up a much more academic portfolio of studies. We're really keen to develop our um, collaborative partnership with the university. From now, we need to build upon this. I mean, obviously, the university's investment and contribution to health and medicine and social care is going to continue through the established um, research and, and teaching activities. But what we want to really do is take forward now this, the knowledge exchange agenda, working with other sectors, and to plug that in to other things that are happening at regional and national level to make the best of the skills that are, that are within, within the institution.